So basically, there are two ways how you can use biology into computers or computers into biology. Now, these are the two approaches at which we can look at when we are doing research on bio IT. So the first one is using computers in biology and that we have spoken in detail where you're doing some research, you generated some data and now you use that uh, data, you analyze that data using computers, right? So that's a straightforward how we do. But that's like holding the nose straight. But if you want to do a turnaround, which is using biological systems in IT. Now that's game changing, right? So let's say that, okay, initially when we started uh, saving data, we used to save it in floppy drives and then we started saving it in CDs, compact disk, and then we started saving in cloud, that is hard disk, and uh, now there is, and so that was hard disk drive, now this is SSD, that is solid state drive. But so many, so much data is being generated on a daily basis, where would we store all of this data? So scientists found out that you can store data in DNA, and that's one approach, but they found out that the DNA is not stable enough to store the data and it, it can disintegrate. So you have to maintain it at a particular temperature or pressure. But of course, it's doable, it's possible. And that's one research area where you can go in as a biocoder, right? So the first approach I said, you can learn Python, BioPython, Java, Perl, uh, CADD and apply all of that in your research. That's normal approach. The second approach will be you can do data storage research wherein uh, storing the data in DNA. So, of course, for that also you need coding. And that is where the time has come now to become a biocoder. And that's how you can get IT jobs, bio IT jobs in IT companies, right? So, what if a biotechnologist learns coding? That power will give him more freedom to do more things. And that's what... Uh, we have been thinking about and we've been doing and now we are collaborating with various IT companies also to do this. So if you want to learn bio coding or bio Python, Python, Java, Perl, CADD, then we are starting the coding for biologist initiative from today at 6 p.m. The link is given in the description and if you use the coupon code biocoder30, you can get a 30% discount. So you can do a 15 days of training or you can do three months or six months of project at Biotechnica. You'll get a work experience letter, recommendation letter from our scientists and of course, uh, based on, on your performance. And of course, you'll get experience, hands-on experience on your coding skills. Now that's something really a superpower according to me because once a biology student becomes a bio coder the sky is also not the limit because you can create softwares biotech softwares biological program softwares or incorporate biological systems into it and you know earn a lot of money so like you know it sector is a lot of money so bio it is the next step for it artificial intelligence machine learning all of that will need coding and of course ai will assist you in coding but Overall, if you have a good understanding of coding, you can create things which even AI cannot think of. I always believe that human brain is more powerful than, than any of the AIs are altogether. So you have the creative intelligence, you have the power to code, and you have the biotech knowledge. Nobody can stop you. So become unstoppable, be, become a biocoder, and join the Coding for Biologist Initiative. Link in the description. And I will see you soon as a biocoder in a bio IT company. And keep shining. Take care. Bye-bye.